Tesla Inc. reported sales of 101,312 vehicles in 2017, a 33% increase over the previous year, remaining the top seller of all electric vehicles even as competitors move in. But August's nationwide rollout of the Chevrolet Bolt EV finally delivered Tesla CEO Elon Musk a true competitor, and the numbers show it. The all-electric Bolt is the first affordable, long-range electric car to reach the mass market. The Michigan-made car posted 23,297 sales in 2017, falling shy of the company's goal of 30,000 deliveries for the year. It closed 2017 with 3,227 deliveries in December. In total, GM said it sold 43,893 electric vehicles in 2017. Tesla only reports quarterly sales rather than the industry-wide practice of reporting monthly. The Silicon Valley automaker reported Wednesday a total of 28,870 deliveries in the fourth quarter, including 15,200 Model S sedans, 13,120 Model X crossovers and 1,550 Model 3 sedans. The Bolt is poised to compete with the mass-market Tesla Model 3 should it overcome continued production delays, the Silicon Valley automaker again delayed its 5,000 unit per week output goal from March 2018 to the end of the second quarter. Until then, the Bolt holds the mid-market EV crown. Some of that success likely comes at the expense of the Chevrolet Volt plug-in hybrid, which saw sales drop 17.7% from 2016 to 20,349. Automakers sold nearly 82,000 Albanian Lex electric vehicles in the US through October, the most current data available from industry forecaster IHS market. That's an increase of 30.4% from 2016. But the growing segment still only accounts for less than 1% of the retail car market in the US. While EV deliveries are increasing steadily, IHS market analyst Tom Libby pointed out the model count only increased by 1 to 23 Albanian Lex electric models in 2017. Most of the growth was posted by only five models, the Bolt, Ford Focus EV, Nissan Leaf and Tesla's Model X and Model S Nissan sold 11,230 of its Leaf EVs in 2017, down nearly 20% from the prior year. A new Leaf with a boosted battery range is expected next year. Rebecca Lindland, automotive analyst for Kelly Blue Book said, we should see electric vehicle sales increase in 2017, but what I'm concerned about when I think about these cars is that we're just fishing in the same pond and eventually we need a bigger pond. This year may be a turning point for electrics. Edmonds is predicting that EVs will capture more than 4% of the retail market, driven mainly by Tesla, though the Bolt and New Leaf are also expected to boost sales. But Lindman says EV development is growing in response to fuel economy regulations rather than consumer demand, which could cause problems later on. The profitability of the EV market will depend upon the future of car buyer demographics. She said, as the demographics of marketplace evolve and we get more millennials into market, they as a whole are just much more comfortable with technology and with electric vehicles. That, combined with more models, could be the saving race for electric vehicle profitability. As a flurry of Tesla Model 3 first impressions begin to scatter across the internet, one involving a professional driver and devout BMW enthusiast is arguably the more noteworthy of the bunch. Alex McCulloch, a licensed airline pilot, skilled mechanic and performance driving instructor, got behind the wheel of Tesla's Model 3, and he had a lot to say about the company's first mass-market electric sedan. Considering his strong automotive background, McCulloch's observations and impressions about the Model 3 came from a relatively objective standpoint. Neither a staunch critic nor an avid fan, the BMW enthusiast allowed the Model 3 to speak for itself. McCulloch was able to drive the Model 3 for a full day, and during that time, 
the professional driver was able to acquaint himself with several key features of the electric car. According to the BMW enthusiast, it did not take long before he was able to get comfortable with the minimalistic design of the Model 3's interior. Though McCulloch pointed out that the placement of the vehicle's hazard button was quite challenging to find, one area that he could definitely give a thorough impression on, however, was Model 3's capabilities on the road. According to McCulloch, Model 3 worked flawlessly, doing exactly what he wanted to do, which he found pleasantly surprising. McCulloch noted, despite my lack of seat time in the car, it did what I asked with ease. It was communicative, composed, and surprisingly neutral, despite my not being able to figure out how to defeat the stability control. If there was one thing that truly impressed McCulloch, however, it was the Model 3's steering, brakes, and balance. According to the BMW enthusiast, the Model 3 completely met his expectations for performance. Alex McCulloch is an active member of BMW CCA, a prominent group of car enthusiasts with a particular liking for the iconic German brand. The professional driver himself owns a number of BMWs, including an M3 E46, a 320i Touring, a rare M Coupe, a 325i X, and a 325 Zai Sports Wagon. Among his collection, his personal favorite is the M3 E46, which McCulloch feels is simply the best car that was ever made. And yes, that is the very same BMW M3 E46 that he compared the Model 3 to when he wrote about his experience with the electric car. Overall, McCulloch's brief time with the Model 3 ultimately convinced the veteran driver that the electric car is the first of many vehicles that would usher in the future of transportation. The Tesla Model 3 has been getting a lot of positive attention from the electric car community since deliveries of the mass-market compact sedan began. Just recently, a Model 3 with aero wheels set a cannonball run record for EVs finishing the long journey in just 50 hours, 16 minutes and 32 seconds. The next generation Nissan LEAF is now on sale from £21,990 including the government's low emission vehicle grant. Deliveries of the second iteration of the Japanese manufacturer's hugely popular electric vehicle will begin in February. It can travel about 50% further on a single charge than its predecessor, with a claimed 235-mile range. There are five trim levels available, from the entry-level Vizia Grey to the top spec Tecna, which starts from £27,490. Carl Bayless Electric vehicle manager at Nissan Motor in Great Britain, said, with the new Nissan Leaf, all electric motoring has never been more viable or affordable for almost any motorist. EV running costs are around 85% less than petrol or diesel cars and maintenance is almost 75% cheaper. Their zero-pound vehicle excise duty, free London congestion charge and even free parking in some cities not to mention convenient home charging. It's not surprising unprecedented numbers of drivers are making the switch and going electric. Nissan is offering finance from £339 per month on a 3-year, 10,000 annual miles personal contract purchase agreement at 4.49% APR for the 2.0 spec, which is the second highest trim in the range. This offer is available with a customer deposit of £4,138, plus a £1,000 contribution from the dealer. The 2.0 trim level is limited to 1,500 examples and represents a £535 saving over an N-Connect trim equipped to the same levels. It comes with Pro Pilot semi-autonomous safety features, 17-inch alloy wheels, suede effect heated seats and a 7-inch touchscreen infotainment system. The ProPilot technology lets the driver hand over some of the driving to the car's onboard computer. 
For example, the leaf can automatically keep itself in its lane, maintain its speed and control the distance to the vehicle in front, even coming to a complete stop if necessary. Drivers can also get the car to park by itself. It uses high-resolution cameras and information from 12 ultrasonic sensors to figure out where a space is before guiding the car in.